to me, LeBron James is one of the greatest players ever played the game. But I don't rank him above Kobe because to me, Kobe Bryant not only had the skills, not only had the athleticism, but he had the assassin mentality. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why I feel that Larry Bird was the better basketball player than LeBron James. He even come on the bench back in the days. <laughs> Yo, That's kind of heavy. Ah. Come on, the, 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 All right, the, the first two time, time I was like, oh, maybe. Two, two time mean, maybe. Two time MVP coming off the bench, Giannis? Yeah. Oh, Giannis. Yo, I hate this part about him, bro. We don't have killer instinct. That is the problem I have is the mentality of these guys. Players aren't, they're not built the same way anymore. You roll your eyes. I'm not saying I like it, it's just reality. There's not that many great centers. And I, I'd be I'd be Michael Jordan in, in this era. NBA old heads. Fuck them. Honestly, fuck them. Like, I have a deep love-hate relationship with NBA old heads for, like, many reasons. I love them because they're so entertaining for me, right? They're, like, their arguments are so fucking stupid, so bizarre, so out of, like, this world that it just makes for good entertainment, good laughter, good quality. Like, we're laughing at you, not with you, right? That type of shit. Like, NBA old heads provide, like, more entertainment for me than actual forms of entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, for example, fucking anime, gaming, all that shit. It, 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 like, it just, it just can't compete, right? And you know, I hate them for that exact fucking reason. Their arguments are so fucking stupid. It makes your head fucking explode, right? Makes your fucking hand connect to your forehead like five thousand fucking times, making you leave a fucking imprint there. Probably a fucking dent in that bitch. You know what I mean? Like, it's just. It's so fucking stupid. Now listen, if you prefer the 90s, the 2000s, the fucking 80s, God forbid, the 50s and 60s. Shit, if you watch, you prefer the 50s and 60s, I don't know how you're watching this video. But, real shit, if you prefer those, like that era of basketball, that is perfectly okay. You know, sometimes I gotta watch some Kobe Bryant highlights, a fucking Shaquille O'Neal game, a Michael Jordan game, Larry Bird Magic, or maybe, maybe a fucking Bob Cousy game, I'm feeling, you know, fucking bored. I'll watch that shit. But my gripe is the unnecessary, unnecessary slander that comes to the, the fucking modern era for no reason. You know, that's my gripe. And another disclaimer, there is a difference between an OG and an old head. See, the old head is like, it's like, it's like Pokemon, right? The Pokemon types. See, to spot an old head, you just gotta fucking listen to their arguments because they'll out themselves, out themselves out, you know, without you doing shit. Old heads will like complain about how the new generation is stuff, all that shit. Like, I don't, even, I don't, you don't need me to explain. Y'all can tell the difference. An OG is someone that actually, you know, enjoys the game of basketball, not just enjoys a certain era of basketball. You know what I mean? Like, they genuinely love the game. And they actually form coherent arguments on why X, Y, Z is better than the fucking, you know, than a, a certain player. However, as time goes on, the amount of NBA old heads are just diminishing and decreasing by the second. One, people are just getting smarter about basketball, which is great. People are getting smarter in general. And two, they're fucking dying. So that's like the benefits of like, this modern, this time, I guess. This. <laughs> Let me See, NBA old heads, well, let me be more specific. NBA old heads with actual like platforms are harmful to the community. Why? Because it's like we're going backwards in time, not forward. You know what I mean? That's my fuck. That's like, that's the primary issue on why. Like, you're just hating on Giannis, LeBron, Curry, Trey Young. Like, God damn, let, my, let them grind. Let them put in the work. Like, bro, that's my fucking issue. And they just don't use any context on like why... For example, LeBron. They don't use any context on why LeBron left Cleveland. The only see is like, oh, he ran from the ground. He, he didn't want to do that shit. He, he ran from the ground. He a pussy. He scared the bum, the bitch. Yeah. All, that, all that shit. It's just stupid to me. It's so dumb to me. Like, they didn't use no context or nothing. They don't know that LeBron was in fucking Cleveland suffering for eight years, you know, carrying a bum squad, like a fucking level 40 with a fucking bunch of 70 overalls. Like, I'll leave that bitch too. I ain't gonna lie. I, I fucking leave. I ain't running from the grind. I'm just not fucking carrying the hardest load in the fucking world. Pause. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. See, old headedness is that how, is that a correct word? Sound go fuck. Old headedness is like a fucking infection, right? A disease. And well, the degrees, the degrees, the disease. Like I said before, is diminishing, diminishing, and diminishing by the fucking day. But. There were still fucking people spreading that bullshit agenda, infecting other, like, innocent casuals, turning them bitches into old heads and having that old head mental mentality. See, now that I think about it, being an old head is more of a mentality than an actual, like, person. See, now that I'm thinking about it, there are a lot of people in my age demographic or even younger that share the old, like, the same 
old head mentality them their views and it's just weird as fuck to me like i'm sorry your uncle is not right about fucking basketball if he says that lebron is a fucking bitch and runs away from lebron i'm sorry ho 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 it's your uncle well, i'm from the wrong generation head ass such a lame ass up bitch go fucking suck a damn eagle cock <laughs> See, the common old head argument is like, I watched them play, so therefore I know more about them than you. Alright, alright, Gramps. Alright, big bro. Sorry I didn't fucking watch Larry Bird and Magic Johnson in their fucking careers while also finding off a stegosaurus for a raw piece of fucking, I don't know, what the fuck's an extinct animal. Dodos, you know what I mean? Sorry, buddy. Like, y'all do know full games exist, right? Like, full games of actual playoff series that Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson played in are on YouTube. See, I don't understand that. And they like, their, their rebuttal to that shit is like, oh, well, it's not them like getting the actual live experience. Shut the fuck up, bro. Shut up. Shut up. And please, shut the fuck up. Like, it's actually nothing compared to me waiting outside in line worried about the Cuban Missile Crisis. You know, trying to get my damn tickets for like $9 for, you know, front row seats. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Also, can we dead the argument that, you know, great players won't be great in other eras? Like, this is not just for old heads, this is a lot of, like, younger people. Like, I will admit that myself. I'm, I don't say that shit, but other people in my fucking generation will say that dumb shit. That, like, Michael Jordan or Kobe couldn't play in this era, which is dumb to me, or Magic or Larry Bird, they would be, they would be great. But also to the OAs that believe Giannis Antetokounmpo, LeBron, Steph Curry, KD won't drive in the fucking 90s, that yeah, you're fucking dumb. Like, I don't give a fuck how tough the 90s. Like, first of all, the 90s, well, toughness, the physicality is so blown out of proportion. Like, yes, did you have, like, physical play? Yeah, you did. But y'all make it seem like every play was just a fucking elbow to the ribs or some shit. Or a fucking elbow to the nose. Like, I promise it was not, like, it was not that way. Like, watch full games of, like, NBA games for, like, in the 90s or 80s. Every fucking possession wasn't just players picking each other up and throwing each other on the fucking hardwood floor. I'm saying that shit right now. And back to back to the main argument. Giannis onto the Kumpo. For example, Charles Oakley said some dumb shit that Giannis would be a fucking bench player in his in his era, his heyday, right? Like I promise you, it's a what it's a word for word what would happen if Giannis played in the 90s. Your favorite childhood icon is getting Giannis's nuts dragged across his face for 12 minutes a quarter every night. How's it feel? Like, that's literally what would happen. Giannis would do the same thing he's doing now to the players in the fucking 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, fucking especially the damn 60s and 50s. Giannis is I'm like averaging Will Chamberlain numbers times fucking a fucking thousand, you know, some Kyle Ken type shit. For LeBron, there's really no argument. If you don't think LeBron can play in any era, you're a fucking idiot and there's no, you know, use on wasting breath on you. Like, real shit, what I'm about to start doing is like, whenever O-Head or like, a fucking person with like an old head mentality tries to argue with me about basketball i'm gonna send them my cash app link because you're not about to waste my time without paying me like a minute a dollar like real shit as for a guy like steph curry steph curry will be just fine in the fucking 90s i'm so sorry you had to hear that i don't give a fuck how rough and tough the 90s were how fucking much bigger which i'm not even fucking true much of them are fucking skinny as shit but if muggsy bogues or raul muhammad can thrive in the 90s steph curry would fucking obliterate it and just be fine like all steph curry would do in the 90s is change the game to a more three-point oriented game faster than fucking before like congrats and same with kd i don't give a fuck how skinny he is kd would dominate the league easily like who is checking kevin durant let's be fucking for it. who's checking kd from fucking from three scotty i'm sorry he's getting that fucking work jordan too fucking little he's getting that work and gp too fucking little he's getting that he's getting that work akeem balaj one i ain't gonna lie he's getting that work on the fucking perimeter too i ain't gonna lie akeem can't hold kd on the perimeter so to all the uncle iros in the nba community Thank y'all, I appreciate y'all showing y'all wisdom and everything. We greatly appreciate y'all. And to the Houston baggers looking ass old heads, you gotta let the past go, man. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. You gotta let you gotta let it go. And that's pretty much all there is to the video. If you enjoy, like the video. You know what I mean? I don't really do too much, but man, check out my other shit. Enjoy, have a good one.